right, you guys, welcome, welcome back for everyone at home. We are still here live from Easter Seals, Colorado. We have a handful of participants that are still around this afternoon. And we are going to go ahead and move forward with our rehabilitative strengthening class. So we've been doing it, I think about three weeks now, maybe, maybe almost a month. Um, and we're just focusing on strength and endurance. So a little different than our morning mindfulness classes where it's focused on gentle stretching, breath work, um, meditation. This turns it up a little bit, right? So we're trying to increase our heart rate, uh, maybe break a little bit of a sweat, get the body moving a little bit more, and all of those um, help with strength and endurance. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep plugging along. And like I said, I've got some folks here with me at Easter Seals, so hopefully all of you at home um, are joining along. And I want to stress number one is um, to make sure that you are staying staying safe and stable. So everything that I offer here is a guide. It's um, a suggestion. But you really want to make sure you're focusing on your own body and doing what feels best for you. So we're trying to avoid any pain, um, stay stable, stay safe, keep your balance, and then do what you can. So I'll go ahead and jump into the quote today that I want to share. It says, physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body, it is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity. And I think it was Kennedy, JFK, I think, said that. I had it written down, and then I forgot. But I think, clearly, I need more physical activity so that my brain can keep working. But physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body. It is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity, right? So that is very much what we talk about um, in, in the morning classes, where we do the mind-body connection, right? And so... Anytime you're getting your physical body moving, you're getting blood flowing, you're cleaning out the system, you're getting that energy moving, and that is going to help with all of your brain processes as well. So we're going to keep plugging along. We're going to do our part with the physical activity, promote mental health activity as well, and um, yeah, just keep going. So are you guys all ready? Cool. Everyone at home, hope you guys are ready. Go ahead, come on to your starting position over here. All right, so as always, we'll start with a good posture here. We want to make sure our feet are flat, hips are heavy, keep the spine nice and long. And then again, the most important thing here is balance and keeping a stable base, right? So with all these activities, we're going to be moving arms, legs, adding a little bit of extra movement. Really make sure that you're staying focused and grounded so that there's no chance injury or um, any kind of loss of balance or stability, okay? And then, as always, with all movement, I like to take a couple of deep breaths to begin. So these can be a little bit more clearing, right? As we work harder, as we start to increase motion and speed, um, we tend to breathe a little heavier, right? We start to build up a little heat. You can use the breath to move that heat. So as you inhale, feel a nice clearing breath come in. And then open mouth, exhale, let all that heat go. <sighs> Clear it out. Nice job. We'll do about two more, just like that. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it out. <sighs> nice job. Last one. Big breath in. Cleansing, cleansing, cleansing. Exhale, let it all out. <sighs> nice. All right, we're going to stick with the same playlist that we tried yesterday. So it's a Beatles playlist. See what happens. Yesterday we were getting into some kind of noodly guitar solos, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens here. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead. Come to that starting position. Create a nice long spine here, and then we're going to start warming up the neck here. Drop the chin down and lift it up. Drop the chin down and lift it up. Good. And just start to get into a nice. Now 
This also doesn't help when we do it right after lunch. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the same thing but on our back body. So, a couple options with the hands here. You can leave them down on your lap if that feels okay. You can bring them to the armrest behind you. You can grab the chair behind you. Bob Dylan's coming in time. Or you can even grab the seat beneath you. And so the point here is to feel your shoulder blades pull together, your low back, your mid back, even a little bit of your neck here, right? So you're kind of curling everything back into itself and then relax. Good. So again, folding the shoulder blades together, feel the low back curl into the mid back, into the upper back, and then relax. Good. And again, you might feel a stretch across the front of the body. That's okay. Again, it's an added bonus, but we're focused on, focusing on engaging the muscles behind us. Nice job, you guys. Keep going. We're, let's say, about half right there. <laughs> Nice job. Keep that breath flowing. Care with the motion. Feel those muscles activated. Nice job, you guys. One more. Really activate those muscles and relax. Woo! Nice work, you guys. Doing okay? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath to reset here. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice. So good, you guys. All right. Forgot to tell my PSA. Drink water. <laughs> Always want to stay hydrated, especially as we start to move our bodies a little bit more. We don't want to prevent, prevent cramping, prevent dehydration. So I'm going to take a little break here. As our life participants, and take a sip of water. You got that blue, or do you need help? Feel all of it. Nice. Yeah, that's good. I do love it. All right. And then, again, check in. Make sure your breath is still moving. If you're getting a little too warm, just give yourself a minute to reset. But now we're going to go ahead and move into the rest of our shoulders, down to the elbows, all the way up to the fingers, okay? So hopefully everyone at home is still hanging out there. You guys are staying strong. Come back to your starting position. Make sure your spine is long and lifted. And then we're going to have a couple of hand options here, right? So you can either take fingers in between your hands. You can cup your hands over each other. You can use the strength of one arm to support the other. Or you can just do all these with one arm. So it's your choice, make sure you listen to your body. But we're gonna go ahead and take that hand grip and then we're just gonna slowly lift and then lower. Good, so we're really focusing on the muscle activation here. So as you're lifting that up, really think about those shoulder muscles engaging to bring your hands first over your head and then back down. Nice, keep the breath moving. And for those of you at home, and also here, of course. But if you are only coming to about shoulder height, that's okay. Or maybe you're just trying to get your hands up off your lap. We're all looking a little different, so that's totally fine. Do what feels best for your body. Nice. Good. Yep. And slowly lower. Make sure you're not cranking on any joints or causing any more pain. <sighs> Good, you guys. Let's do one more here. Lift those arms up, and then wherever you end up, we're going to go side to side a little bit. Get that core engaged. Feel your spine sit up nice and tall, and then get a little motion in the shoulder blades. Good. And maybe right here, go side to side. Perfect. You're still getting that motion in the front. Right? So you're not adding any extra pain to the arms or shoulders. Nice work, you guys. Take a breath in. And lower. <sighs> Doing okay? Hanging in there? <laughs> yeah. Good. All right, so I'm going to turn to the side 
after this one just to show the folks at home. But we're going to go ahead and take the same handheld options. So either in between, copy, using the strength of one hand, or just doing this with one arm. We're essentially doing a bicep curl, right? So flexion is as you pull your arm up, extension is as you lower it back down and straight. Right? So you can either do both at the same time. Nice, Carol. Or maybe you're doing a hand grip here, pulling the fist up into your chest, and then back down. Good. Keep that breath moving. You guys are doing great. Feeling okay? Good. I'm getting head down all around. Hopefully you guys are at home watching this. You're not in your head as well. Nice job. Really focus on activating the muscles, both as you lift up, curling the biceps, and then engaging the triceps as you straighten. Nice job, you guys. All right, one more. Good measure. Make it the best one yet. And then slowly sink. Oh, nice work. Doing okay? Awesome. All right, I am coming a little closer to the camera so that I can show our folks at home what we're doing. And I'll make sure that you guys can all still see. But this next one is going to be motion at the forearm here. So pronation is palm down, supination is palm up. And you're not rotating the shoulder, right? It's not motion at the shoulder, it's right at the forearm. So then if your hands are together, Right, just going, not so much in the wrist yet, Carol, but take your palms and turn them up and down. There you go. Nice job. And again, no different if you are taking variation on hand grips. Yep, if you're using one hand to assist, just like that, Steve. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. Keep the breath moving. Sometimes it's those smaller muscles that can be harder to try and really figure out how to get moving again, right? We can maybe do a big motion, but when it comes down to some of those little tinier muscles, they just don't like to listen. <laughs> Yep, yep. All right, you guys, when you're done with that, go ahead, shake out those hands, maybe give them a rest. You can always use one hand to kind of massage the muscles, right? Loosen it up a little bit. No different than if you were gonna give like your neck a little rub or if your calf was tight, right? If there's any muscle that ever needs just a little love, feel free to offer it. All right, so now we're gonna move into wrist motion. So we're doing flexion, which is forward, and extension, which is backwards. So flexion forward, and extension backwards. Yep, and then you've got a couple options again. So you can either take the hands in between one another. Carol, if you wanna do both like this, that's totally fine too. Whatever feels best. You get a lot of different options here. Keep breathing with it, no forcing. <laughs> Good, so if you're using one hand to assist the other. Nice. Feeling okay, guys? Good. Starting to warm up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, good. Nice job. All right, then when we're done, we can shake it out, relax the wrist, relax the fingers. And then again, same thing. If you need to kind of give those muscles a little reset, feel free. Good. All right, so now we're gonna get into some actual finger exercises here. So um, I'll get closer to the folks at home so they can see, but what we're doing here is bringing our thumb into the pinky finger first. 
So we'll start thumb into pinky. And you wanna push the finger pads together and then open up and then thumb into ring finger, right? And your muscles should really start to be engaged. You can feel that there. Open up, then you'll go to middle finger, open up and then pointer finger. Good, now a couple options with this. If you want, if you're having a hard time really opening up those fingers, you can work just at the base. So kind of pull the thumb and the pinky together and then allow them to open up. Pull the middle finger, or ring, I don't know my fingers. <laughs> pull the ring finger, right? So you're just working at the base of those fingers. Then open up. And then we got the middle finger. Is this the coconut song? I love this song. We're gonna turn this one up, you guys. For those of you at home. All right, and then we're gonna take the pointer finger, pull that together. Good. And the other thing you can do is you can close your eyes and visualize both hands doing the same thing. Right, so that's more of an energetic practice. But however it feels best for you today, you have that option, right? Good. The lime and the coconut. I'm not gonna start singing. I don't, I don't wanna scare off our audience at home. <laughs> but this just makes me think of like having like a tropical drink or something, you know? We should all be on a beach doing these. <laughs> all right, one more wherever you're at, either both hands or one hand, or maybe you're visualizing. This is definitely a good spot for you guys at home to just stop exercising and start dancing. You know, I think that's going to be our next video is just like soul train or something. That's what we're going to go. That's what we're going to go with. Oh, okay. So we're done with those. Now the next one, see, this is what happens when I have music and an audience. I get distracted. <laughs> All right, you guys. So our next one for those of you at home is we're going to make really tight fists. So pull those muscles in, pull all those fingers in, curl everything in, and then try to open it up as best as possible. Good, so yep, Carol, if you're doing both hands, you're gonna squeeze, 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 squeeze everything as tight as you can go. And then open the hands nice and wide. Good, now maybe you're just using one hand and you're gonna pull it in. Yep, wrapping it over something just like that. And then if you're able to, get that other hand in there and open it up. Nice, yep, or use the top of your cane, perfect. Pulling it in maybe. Or just stop all together and start dancing. I really think video three is gonna be a dance party. That's, you know, that's where we're going with this. <laughs> I gotta tell you, for all those at home, this is way more fun than just talking to the computer by myself. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Wherever you're at, a couple more. Uh, trying to open up as best as you can, then close them, and then open up again. Good. Last one. Keep that breath moving, and then bring them back down. Nice. Take it out if you want. Give those hands a rest. Maybe just rubbing them together, a little bit of a massage. Get some sensation in there. Nice. All right. For those of you at home, take a breather. Maybe take some water. We're going to do the same here, and we'll get set for core and legs. All right. Feel free to take a water break, you guys. Right? We're going to probably feel ourselves heat up even more than we have been. And so just really 
to make sure, again, you tune into how you're feeling. Make sure you're not getting too lightheaded or anything like that, okay? So you always have a couple options, too, with your spine. To keep it super engaged, you want to sit up, lean your back up, up away from the chair. So really engage the muscles in the front and the back of the body. Keep your spine long and lifted. And now we're going to start with our quadriceps here by straightening our legs. So bring those feet. Straight out in front of you as best as you can. Good. And then you can then go ahead and release, Carol. Yep, so we're going to alternate. So one leg straight and then down. The other leg straight and then down. Good. And really focus on squeezing the top of those thighs here. Really trying to activate the quadriceps. Nice job, you guys. Keep that breath moving. Feel the low belly engaged. You do always have the option of leaning your spine back for a little support. So even if you're leaning back, you really want to make sure that your trunk is still activated. Okay? Nice job. Keep the breath moving. A nice relaxing song. Was it Cat Stevens? Who do we got? Yeah, Cat yeah. Stevens. Yeah. You got born into the wrong generation. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep the breath moving. Really activate those quads. And then when you're ready, come on back to that starting position. Nice job, you guys. All right. So let's get prepared for the second one. It's definitely going to take it up a notch. And so really make sure you got that breath going. Come back to that starting position. Sit up nice and tall. Engage all the muscles here. We're going to straighten one leg. And then we're going to start by rotating up the hip. So as best as you can. Maybe get the ankle involved if that feels okay. And then you do have a couple options with this, right? So if the leg straight is too heavy, you can bend at the knee. And then just make bigger circles up the hip. Good. Nice job, Carol. And then make sure to take a break, give it a rest, because we're going to do that same leg, but just in the opposite direction. Right? So straighten that leg back out again if possible, and then go the opposite direction with the circles that you were going And again, you have the option to lean back if you need to take some of the weight out of your core here. You can also always bend the knee. Uh, nice job, you guys. Go ahead, come on back to that starting position. Give that leg a rest. So now, we get to do the second leg, right? So, core is active, spine straight. Bring that leg out and then start rotating up the hip. It is a wild world. That's accurate. He's not wrong. <laughs> 20 20. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> Barbara Walter, only new. <laughs> Feel free to bend the knee if that is a little easier. And then make sure to take a break. Because again, we're going to go the opposite direction with that same way. So give it a breather here. Straighten that leg out. And then we'll rotate the other direction. Nice job, you guys. You are doing so, so good. Know that you have your variations. And I guess I never offer this. If you want to make any of this more challenging, you'll sit at the edge of your seat, pull your spine up, and then like take your hands out. Right? So adding an element with the arms. But that's going to be increasing the difficulty. So if you're looking to decrease the difficulty, don't do that. <laughs> All right. Nice. Good job. Good job. And yeah, even if you just take one arm out. We'll try that. So good. All right, you guys. Let's see. Where are we at? Okay, we're going to give the big muscles a break here, and then I'm going to turn to the side to show the audience at home what we're going to do. Heel raise. Okay. okay, so with your knees at about a 90 degree angle, right? Feet are flat on the floor. Push your toes into the ground and lift those heels up. Good, and then lower them back down. Push your toes in, lift the heels, and then lower back down. Nice. Now again, a couple options here. You can alternate. You can make one at a time. Maybe you're 
just focusing on one leg or one foot. Nice, Carol. Good job. You can also use one foot to support the other, right? If your left leg's maybe a little stronger, helping to lift that up. Oh, yeah, the PAFO yeah, yeah. oh, probably is what you need, right? Yeah, that's fair too. So then you can just focus on one foot. <laughs> Got a tap dancer over there. <laughs> now the other thing, especially with this one, it looks like you guys all have this uh, down pretty well. You can add resistance. So whichever leg or if it's both that are really strong, take your hands, either one or both, push them into that knee, and then push your legs up in your hands. So you're kind of fighting a little battle with yourself, right? You're Arms are trying to prevent your legs from coming up, and your legs are trying to push up against those arms. So that's going to be full body, because your arms are engaged, your core is engaged, and then pushing your legs into it. Nice. Yeah, look just like that, even with the forearm. we got a couple options here, guys. Nice. What do we have, 50, Bill? <laughs> Bill, stop counting. He's giving up on me. <laughs> All right, we're, we're done with those. I think we've got our limit on heel raises. <laughs> you guys are doing awesome. Still hanging in there, feeling okay? All right, cool. So now, again, come to the starting position. Spine lifted, core engaged. We're going to work on marches. So lifting the knees up and down. Lift that knee up and down. Good. So this one, you really want to try and focus keeping your back up off the back of the chair. That'll really activate your core here. Good. Yep, and you can hold on to the base of the chair if that's going to help. Nice. You always have the option of leaning back a little bit while your core stays activated. Or, if you want a double newbie challenge, bring those arms up. No takers? <laughs> I got Bill in the corner. We'll take them. <laughs> Good. But really focus on engaging that core. Nice job, you guys. Keep that breath moving, right? If you're not breathing, none of this means anything. Good. Let's do one more each side. And come on down to rest. Woo! How we doing? You're done. <laughs> Bill's ready to go take a nap. He's about to call it. <laughs> That's all right. He can quit. We'll stay in it, guys. <laughs> He's just not getting overtime today. <laughs> okay, we have got two left. These are definitely the harder of the two. So really keep that breath moving and just check in with yourself, okay? I'm going to turn to the side. That I can show our lovely audience at home. Oh, I gotta take a breath before I do these. These are the tough ones. <laughs> All right, so this first one is a four hold. So we're really focusing on engaging our whole trunk here, right? So you wanna keep your chest lifted, feel your front and back body engaged, arms lift up, and then your legs lift up. So you should feel it in the low back. Or, no, I'm sorry. You should feel it in the low belly. You do not want to feel it in the low back. Right? Now, you have a couple of options. You don't want to do this incorrectly where you're hurting your spine. So, if you want to start with maybe just one leg, and then really focus on keeping that spine long and lifted, and feel your whole belly pull in, and then maybe switch. Right? So you can do one leg at a time. You can bring your arms down. And just lift the legs. Or you can always lean your spine back a little bit here, have some support, and then lift the legs. But even if you have the support, keep your chest lifted because you don't want to round forward and put all that weight in your low back, right? So lengthen the spine, and then legs lift up. You can even bend the knees a little bit, that might make it a little easier as well. Good. Lou got lucky, he's dipping out on the floor. Okay. Likely straight. 
story. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, lift those arms up, lift those legs, keep breathing. We just had so much fun. <laughs> Steady. 
infection. So thumb stays steady, eyes stay on the thumb, and then we rotate right to left. So good, you guys. And then again, we'll take one more break here in a second. So let's do right and then left. And then come to center, close the eyes, and release that hand. Oh, nice work. All right, we've got one more eye exercise, and it's going to be just like what we did, except we're going to take the head up and down. So the thumb comes out, the eyes open, eyes stay on the thumb, and now nod your head up and down. So keep those eyes directly on the thumb. Good. So just getting full range in the socket, moving the head around the eye. Nice job, you guys. Couple more, just like this. So good. And go ahead, come on back to the middle, close the eyes, release the thumb. Oh, and give yourself a break here. Let's take a breath in. And exhale, let it out. Good. Nice job, you guys. Blink those eyes back open. How are you feeling? Doing okay? Sweet. Um, I'm going to take a sip of water here. And then we are going to move into mouth exercises. So, I'm also going to pull this table. Pardon the noise for those at home. There we go. And I'm doing that so that I can take the mask off so that I can show you guys the facial exercises, okay? That way we have plenty of space in between myself and the participants. So I'll go ahead and remove the mask. All right, you guys, you ready for mouth exercises? I'm gonna take one more sip of water. Feel free to hydrate if you need. You can take yours off to do this. Just pull them down and just make sure that you keep the distance, okay? Good. All right, so hopefully all you guys at home are hanging in there. And we are going to move on to our mouth muscles and our facial muscles, right? So this first one, just kind of massage the muscles right kind of like we talked about giving those muscles a little rest and relaxation with all the other exercises your mouth and your face are no different good it may be right in near the jaw right where right by the ear all right so now when we're ready this first one we're going to open the mouth as wide as you can go and then close open wide and then close good nice and wide and close so good you guys we're about halfway there it's like you're going in for a big bite of an apple or something <laughs> Nice, one more big one, open wide, and close, whoo, nice, nice job, you guys. Oh, Steve, your turn, you're ready to rock. Thank you so much for joining. We'll see you next time. Okay, and when you're not here, feel free to jump online again and watch like you did last time. Awesome, thank you. All right, Carol, it's you and I left, you still doing okay? <laughs> good all right and hopefully all of you at home are still hanging along this next one that we're going to get into bye steve have a good one is smiling so we're just going to take the corners of our mouth pull those into your cheeks and eyes and then relax smile big <laughs> yeah so and relax i feel like we just want to now laugh at each other because we're smiling at each other <laughs> 
And relax. So good. Nice and big. Pull the corners up. And relax. Keep it. Yeah, yeah. We do feel like we're being a little cheesy. It's like kind of forced, but that's okay. It's a good exercise. And then release. Two more, Carol. Nice big cheesy smiles for me. <laughs> good. And relax. Last one. Nice. <laughs> Well, if you think that was cheesy, the next one's going to be even more because we're alternating smiling and puckering. So, <laughs> smile nice and big and then stick those lips out. Good. So, it's like you're pulling all your muscles back and then you're pushing them all forward. And I always say kissing noise is optional. <laughs> smile big and push forward. Good. Smile big. And push forward. Keep it going. You just look so happy over there, Carol. <laughs> One more. And push forward. Oh, nice job. Give it a rest. If you need to, massage those muscles again. Let the jaw loosen up. All right, the next one I'm going to explain first and then I'll demonstrate. But we're going to have our lips sealed. We're gonna puff our cheeks up with as much air as possible, and then we're gonna push that air from side to side, right? So kind of look like a blowfish, lip sealed. Use your hands to push the air from side to side. Yeah, but then keep those lips sealed. There you go, yep. Good, and you'll notice if you push really hard, you might have a little bit of air slip out the lips. So then just maybe take a break, refill with air. Nice, if you're at home and you're um, using just one hand to push the air, it's gonna look like this. Ah, so good. Doing okay, Carol? All right. We'll give ourselves a little break on that one. And then the next one that we're going to get into is lip smacks. So I always have to lick my lips a little bit here. And then... Nice. That was a good one. <laughs> the, louder, the louder it is, like the more pop you're going to get, right? So... And that's definitely echoing in this room. <laughs> nice, Carol's speeding it up. You can do that if you want at home. Good, give me one more good one, Carol. <laughs> you could go all day with that, couldn't you? <laughs> awesome. Uh, cool, so we are moving right along. We have two more um, that are focused on the tongue and then two more after that. So this first one with the tongue, we wanna take it from one corner of the mouth to the other. So we're going side to side, exactly. And for those of you at home, if you um, wanna speed it up, you can, nice. But if you speed it up and your tongue starts to go in different directions, slow it down. So the Main point is to keep it controlled. Good. Nice. All right, and now we're gonna go up and down. So try and reach your nose and then down to the, yep. Uh-huh. Good, and same thing again. If you can go faster up and down, feel free, but make sure it stays controlled. I can't go up and down really fast, so. I don't think my tongue knows how to go fast up and down like that, only side to side. <laughs> so again, the important part is that you're hitting the targets, so if you need to slow it down to keep it controlled, then that's perfect, go ahead and do that. Can you touch your nose? Almost, can you, Carol? No, me neither. 
I'm always impressed with people who can. Like it just keeps going. It's like a Stretch Armstrong tongue. <laughs> All right, you guys, what do we got? Two more. This next one is always the hardest for me. So we're gonna bite the tongue gently and then swallow. So again, for those of you at home, a nice gentle clamp on the tongue and then swallow while you're holding that tongue, right? And you might need a sip of water with this one. My mouth definitely gets really dry. So go ahead, do the best you can and keep going. I think this is the one I always give the most instructions so that I don't have to do as many. <laughs> it's my kind of way of cheating to get out of it. Good, make sure again, keep those tongues gently clamped and then swallow while you're holding on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Having a sip of water definitely helps. All right, let's all do one more. Ah, oh, that one never gets easier. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have one last one. Carol, you doing good? You're hanging in there? All right, ma'am. So this last one, and for everyone at home, we're gonna frown and then swallow. So a nice big frown and then swallow. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good thing, that's okay. But also, if you need to, you can use your hands to kind of just guide the lips down. So. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then swallow. It's probably not a bad thing that you have a hard time frowning. Nice job. We'll do one more just like that. So taking the corners of the lips down, nice big frown. And then swallow. Oh, we made it. I'm taking a sip of water. <laughs> All right, so as always, let's go ahead and finish just like we started with a couple deep breaths. So really let these be nice and cleansing after all that activity. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, deep cleansing breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Last one, you guys, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ah, oh, so, so good. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you are at home joining us, thank you so much. Everyone did wonderful, both here and at home. You guys are doing great. Um, we will be back again tomorrow. We will not be live from Easter Seals, but I will still be on video. Um, so we'll have the, the morning class at 10 a.m. That's our mindfulness and our gentle stretching. And then we'll come back in the afternoon at 1.30 for our rehabilitative strengthening. So a couple options for you guys. Hopefully we see you again. Um, either way, have a wonderful, wonderful day and continue to take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.